From the stage of aerobatics to the front line, the Alpha Jet is much more than just a military aircraft. Prestigious aerobatic patrols, such as the famous Patrouille de France and the daring Aces de Portugal, have taken to the skies in this iconic twin jet. Born from the collaboration between Dassault and Dornier in the 1970s and 1980s, it was an innovative advanced training and ground attack aircraft, distinguished by its compact appearance and elegant arrow-shaped wing. A combination of technology and performance that continues to enchant the world. In the 1960s, the European Air Forces were looking for a new generation of jet trainer aircraft to replace the older Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star and Fuga Magista. Thus, in July 1969, a joint agreement for the development of a new aircraft was signed between West Germany and France. The two nations agreed to purchase 200 aircraft, which were assembled in each of their respective countries. The new aircraft was developed in two versions, a trainer for France, and an attack variant for Germany, which urgently needed a replacement for its Fiat G91S. On 23 July 1970, a competition was held between the companies of the two countries, and the winner was the Alpha Jet, produced by a collaboration of France's Dassault and Germany's Dornier, each company assembling the aircraft separately in their own factories. The Alpha Jet proved to be a light twin-engine aircraft with a simple but efficient structure and an aerodynamic shape that conformed to the area rule. Whitcomb's area rule states that in order to minimize drag at speeds close to Mach 1, the cross-sectional area of the aircraft should be as constant as possible. This helps to reduce drag and improve the overall performance of the aircraft. The avionics of the original version of the Alpha Jet were austere in character, also to make it a simple and easily exportable aircraft. The cockpit was pressurized for greater comfort during training in addition, it could be ready for a new flight very quickly, which was made possible by features such as fast refueling and easy access to the cockpit without the need for ladders. The Alpha jet fleets of France and Germany differed in specification and equipment. The German aircraft were equipped with a more extensive weapon aiming system, in addition to the ground attack role, the Luftwaffe employed them in aerial reconnaissance roles. The Snecma Turbomecha Larzac turbofan engines used on the Alpha jet had a low bypass ratio, meaning that only a small portion of the air is diverted around the engine's inner core, while most passes through the core itself, allowing the engine to be more efficient. During the 1970s, Dornier claimed that the Alpha jet had better performance than aircraft such as the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, LTVA-7 Corsair II and Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II. The Alpha jet was smaller, faster, less vulnerable, more maneuverable, more economical and had better all-round performance than the A-10. The Alpha Jet was more complex than the training aircraft of the time, and the military variant was heavily armed with 2,268 kilograms of ammunition, advanced free-falling bombs, and cannons of 30 mm the French version and 27 mm the German one. It was exported to Egypt, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Morocco, Nigeria, Qatar and Togo. The export version was improved with more powerful engines and the ability to carry modern weapons such as air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense. The Alpha Jet was a remarkable success in military aviation due to its versatility, reliability and ability to adapt to a variety of operational roles. Its innovative design, combined with excellent performance and outstanding maneuverability, made the Alpha Jet a valuable asset for training, ground attack and reconnaissance missions.